Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I have a very exciting one. As you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be unboxing my first ever Chanel piece. So if you want to see what I got and see the unboxing, then just keep on watching. Alright, so recently, like literally this weekend, as I'm filming this, I picked up my first ever Chanel piece. Now, the way that I got this is I ended up selling the pouch that comes with the Neverfull. I've had my Neverfull since October of 2016. That was my first luxury bag, and I honestly don't really ever use that wristlet, and I was kind of looking at it sitting in my closet, and I'm like, oh, you know, I've been lusting after this piece, and I was like, I... Let me just sell it and then get something I truly do want to use. I have been wanting a card holder like this one. That's what this is. It's a card holder. And I figured that would be the perfect way to do it. You know, I'm funding it through selling something else. So the Chanel boutiques, like the standalone stores, at least in my area, have not opened up yet. But the Chanel inside a Saks near me is open and I went in and honestly the lady that helped me was so so nice and I was very intimidated to ever go into a Chanel. There's been times in the past where like I would want to just go into the store just to kind of look around but I would feel intimidated because I feel like Chanel is in a league of their own compared to like Louis Vuitton or Gucci. Not that those are not high-end brands but I just feel like Chanel is at a different level you know if that makes sense at least to me personally I have no issues walking into a Louis Vuitton I feel totally comfortable so I was a bit nervous walking into the Chanel boutique but the lady that helped me was so sweet she was so nice I didn't feel like she was trying to like upsell me on anything either I'm not sure if their associates make commission or not but because I was looking at a couple different card holders and she was actually pushing me to buy like more so supporting this purchase versus a more expensive card holder so she was definitely not being pushy at all even though this Chanel that I went to is a little bit far from my house like it's a little bit of a drive I honestly think I would go back to her just to keep that relationship going but anyway this is going to be a true true unboxing I have not opened this since I took it home from the store and the model that I saw was not the model she gave me like she didn't give me the floor model she got me a brand new one so fingers crossed there's nothing wrong with this but honestly the bag and everything is just it just feels so luxurious there's just something about this so let me go ahead and take the ribbon off ah, i'm so excited and you know it's funny because i was never like super into chanel before but i've been watching some videos on it and just lusting after their pieces and i don't think i will ever be able to bring myself to spend like the money that the classic pieces cost like the classic small flap or the medium because uh, it's a hard number to swallow especially with the price increases i do have on my wish list the wallet on a chain and the i really do like the mini rectangular but even the mini rectangular is just getting to a point where i feel like it's just a little bit too much i don't know who knows if i become like super rich one day maybe <laughs> but for now that is just a lust after piece so anyway, the receipt comes in this little envelope. I'm sure if you're familiar with Chanel, you've seen this before. Has the little camellia flower. And then like I said, they just put the receipt in here. So then it comes in this very beautiful little box with the flower. Oh, it's so pretty. You know what's funny is that these flowers, it almost feels like a real flower. Like if you've ever felt the rose petals before, that's what this fabric feels like. So it just kind of adds to the luxury experience I guess so now I have to undo the ribbon I don't want to it's so it's so so pretty but let's just do it and you know when I walked into the boutique I was scared that they weren't gonna have what I wanted because you know I hear so many people talking about Chanel and how hard it is to get certain pieces and this is one of their classic items so I was super nervous I wasn't going to be able to get it but luckily I went in and I asked and she was like, oh yeah, she's like, we definitely have that. And I asked her about the walk too because I've heard those are very hard to get. And what she was telling me was that during the year, um, generally it's pretty easy to get them, that they're not super hard to come by. But she said during the holidays is when it can be more difficult to get your hands on one of the classic walks. But I am definitely not anywhere near ready to be able to buy that. But I'm just excited about my first piece. So I got the ribbon off. This is the box. The box feels very nice and I just love the black and white. Like Louis Vuitton is the orange color which 
I like their boxes too, but there's just something about the black and white that just looks so like clean and fresh. I don't know. So then you open it up and this is what's inside. It has this very nice like suede feeling dust bag. Right off the bat, this dust bag definitely feels more luxurious than like my Gucci dust bag or even some of my Louis Vuitton ones. Like here's my Louis Vuitton, one of them. And it's just like a, it's just a fabric dust bag, which I mean, it's fine. But for when you're paying the, the prices that Chanel costs, I, I like that they kind of go the extra mile and do like a little bit of a fancier dust bag. So let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh my goodness, I'm just expecting it, inspecting it really quick. And here is this beauty. This is the classic card holder in the grained, or it's caviar, I believe that's what they call this. Caviar, black leather, it has one slot on the front two pockets in the back and then it has this inner pocket and then I did get it in the silver hardware. Um, they do have other options. They have tons of different card holders. She pulled out like a whole thing and they have tons of different styles but I really had my heart set on the classic one at least for my first one. I already saw some other ones that I thought were really nice that I would like to have in the future as well but I wanted to go classic and the sales rep she was kind of leaning towards doing the classic as well. She had one and she brought hers out and she showed it to me. She had it super stuffed and she had it for like six years, she said, and it looked, it looked great, honestly, for being six years old. But it is so beautiful. The leather just looks so nice. And you know, I wanted to get the grained, ca or caviar, grained, whatever leather this is, the caviar, because I've heard that like lamb skin, which I'm not even sure if this comes in that. I am no expert on Chanel. I really don't know all the ins and outs. I've just been kind of learning a few things here and there from watching videos, but I wanted this leather for sure because I wanted it to be a more durable leather. I've heard lamb skin is very, very delicate, and as much as it's beautiful, I just definitely wanted something that I knew would be durable for my first piece. So, it does have this protective plastic on here, and also in the box, it came with I believe this is just some care instructions, so I will leave that in there. And then in the middle here, there is... So it did come with the authenticity card, which I will keep in the box that way in case I ever decide to sell down the road, you know, I can. Then it also came with the price tag, which let me show you everything so you can see all the details about it in case you want to ask your sales rep for it. So yes, and then that's it. It also has this like blank piece of paper. And then in the back, they have these two little card things basically just to show you that it holds cards. So I'm gonna put all that stuff in the box. And the reason that I got this, you may be wondering if you've seen some of my past videos, I do have two of the Louis Vuitton key clays. Now these are zippered, and I love these, don't get me wrong. I usually keep like my extra cards in these that like I don't necessarily need all the time but I wanted to just have like a nice easy access card holder and honestly I just love luxury goods so and I thought this was a very good like intro piece to try out Chanel you know before I go and fork over how much their other bags are like even the walk you know I can try out the brand and see how I like it you know in in that regard so I am going to take the plastic off the cc's And there she is without the plastic covering. Very nice and shiny. I also wanted silver just because I personally prefer silver hardware more than anything. Now, like Louis Vuitton, my Louis Vuitton bags and my Gucci, they all have gold hardware. But I don't really care if this matches because this is on the inside of the bag anyway. So... I definitely think if I get the wallet on chain, I will for sure do silver hardware and I will most likely do the caviar leather as well, even though the lambskin version does look really beautiful, but you know, anyway. So I do have my Louis Vuitton wallet. This is what I was using. So back to the reason why I got this. So if you saw, um, I think my last video was my Louis, no two videos ago was my croissette unboxing and it's a crossbody bag and now this definitely fits comfortably everything i need to carry this my keys it all fits perfectly no issues there 
but this wallet does take up you know a decent amount of space in the bag so I this is much obviously it's thinner and it's let me show you here it is smaller as well so I just wanted to have like a more consolidated wallet even though this one is not super big I love this wallet I would definitely recommend this if you are looking for a normal wallet that can hold bills and cards and all that absolutely love this I will definitely still use it you know and you know but I'm gonna use this too so I do I do want to go ahead and add in my like most used needed cards into this and then I will show you what it looks like all right so I decided you know I wanted to see what cards I wanted to actually put in this and one thing I want to say that I really do like is that your cards like don't stick out so like my license number isn't sticking out it's it's tucked in there well like you can't even see anything about my license so on the front I put the license on the back I have my two debit cards and my one credit card that I use for like gas groceries like my most used and then in the center pocket for now I don't want to like stretch it out of course it's new but the lady was showing me she has tons of stuff in hers but I did just stip, stick one $20 bill in there and then you may be wondering like what am I going to do with other cards so since I have two clays what I did was I for the longest time now I've had all my extra cards in this one and then now in this one I have my other cash because like, I, I don't really use cash but lately I've been wanting to have some cash on me just in case and it actually came in handy one day at the gas station when their system was down so anyway I have some cash in here and then I have like my two main rewards cards and a couple other of my like main credit cards the ones I don't use them a lot but I do use them more than the ones that are in here so you know I think that having both of these is really nice and you may be thinking like why have all this compared to just having this but I did put these in my bag and this definitely takes up less space I will show you um, my bag in a second with everything in it just so you can get an idea but I really do think that this is gonna be a nice little system so let me just move some stuff around here and this is by the way made in Italy so on the inside of the pocket I don't know how well you move I don't want to stretch it so basically on the one side it says Chanel and then on the other side it says the made in and it's made in Italy so that's nice I mean I personally I'm not too big on like where my items are made I have made in USA Louis Vuitton made in France made in Spain so I don't really care too much about that but I know some people do but this is made in Italy so let me go ahead and change the angle so I can show you how everything fits into my Louis Vuitton corset. All right, so I have my corset bag here. I'm gonna try to show you as best as I can. So I have the two um, key clays there. I can stick that in there and I always keep my car key out. That way I don't have to open and close it too much. And then I can just take the Chanel card holder and slide it in right there. So I definitely have more space like over here and when I don't have this in there, there's quite a bit more space than if I had the wallet. So it's just a nice way to have a little bit of extra space in my bag. But like I said, the wallet does fit in here if you saw my Chrysler unboxing video. So anyway, that is how it looks inside the bag. Alright guys, so that is it for my first Chanel piece unboxing. I am very excited about this. I think it is definitely a cute, functional piece. I will definitely do an update down the road on how I like it and how it wears. So of course, subscribe so you can stay tuned for that in the future. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Chanel piece is and if there's anything you think I should add to my wish list because it is ever growing. But anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.